All right, so this is a quick video on how to change your texture packs in DDNet. Now, what you will be able to change is the main menu theme. So you can change the background of the main menu, as well as your skins and your entities, game, files, emoticons, and particles. So let's say you want to use another texture pack. Well, what you want to do is you want to go to your settings and to assets and for whatever you want to use. So let's say I want to change my game skin. We're going to press assets directory and that thing, and it's going to open up a folder. And what you want to do is you want to download, you know, a game skin you found online. Uh, so there are two main websites and there are probably some more, but these are two that I use, which is the DDNet form where people post their own game skins and also tskins.de, which is a little database. So the links will be in the description. And let's say I just want to download this one, um, Game Skin Lefro. I'm going to download it and then put it into the folder that I just had. And when I go back to DDNet, I can refresh and it'll be right here. And as you can see, my texture pack changed. So the hook hammer, all the weapons, that stuff is all different. And if I want to go back, just go to the same place. And I'm back to the default just by clicking on it. You can do the same with emoticons, open the emoticons assets directory, particles, entities. And by the way, the assets directory folder is different for each of these four ones. So if you want to change each one, you're going to need to open the four folders, not just one. You can also import custom skins by going to T, clicking skins directory, and adding any custom skins you want into this folder. And the last thing you can change is your main menu theme. So you'll see there's like a little background in the menu. Well, you can actually change that. So let's say I want to change it to this. I can change it to this one, this one, this one, etc. And the way you do this is you open up themes directory and it'll open up a folder, but you actually need map files in this case. And you can't really find these online uh, anywhere. So I will put these four map files in the description. All you have to do is download it and drag it to your themes file. And then you'll be able to change them uh, in the general settings menu.